In this video, we will work on the easy way to multiply fractions. Let's say you have a question like 9 over 16, and it's multiplied by 8 over 15. The easy way to do this is to look for common factors in the numerators and denominators. I can see that 9 and 15 are both divisible by 3. So the 9 can become 3 times 3, and the 15 can become 3 times 5. 16 and 8 are both divisible by 8. So the 16 can become 2 times 8, and the 8 can become 1 times 8. Next, we will use cross cancellation to cancel out any common factors in the top and bottom numbers. We have a 3 that can be cancelled, and we have an 8 that can be cancelled. Next, we will multiply what we have left over. On the top, we have 3 times 1, which equals 3. And on the bottom, we have 2 times 5, which equals 10. So 3 over 10 is our final answer. So let's try another one. Let's say you had a question like 4 over 12, and it's multiplied by 6 over 9. 4 and 12 are both divisible by 4. So the 4 can be 1 times 4, and the 12 can be 3 times 4. And it's multiplied by 6 over 9, which are both divisible by 3. So the 6 can be 2 times 3, and the 9 can be 3 times 3. And then we need to cancel out any common factors in the numerators and denominators. So we can cancel out a 4, and we can cancel out a 3. So in the top, we have left over 1 times 2, which is 2. And in the bottom, we have 3 times 3, which is 9. So we have 2 over 9 for our final answer. Let's say we had a question like 56 over 44 and it's multiplied by 66 over 48. If we look for common factors in the numerators and denominators, we can see that 56 and 48 are both divisible by 8. So 56 can be 7 times 8, and 48 can be 6 times 8, and 44 and 66 are both divisible by 11. So 44 can be 4 times 11, and 66 can be 6 times 11. And then we can cancel out any common factors that are in both top and bottom numbers. We can cancel out an 8, we can cancel out an 11, and we can cancel out a 6. What we have left over is 7 over 4, which is our final answer. So let's say you had three fractions multiplied together. 7 over 12 multiplied by 9 over 14 multiplied by 4 over 9. What you want to do is reduce before you multiply. 7 goes into 7 once. 7 goes into 14 two times. 9 goes into 9 once, and 9 goes into 9 once. 4 goes into 4 once, and 4 goes into 12 three times. You want to multiply what's left over. On the top, you have 1 times 1 times 1, which is 1. On the bottom, you have 3 times 2, which is 6 times 1, which is 6. Final answer is 1 over 6. It's that easy. Just reduce before you multiply. 
Let's say you had a question like 28 over 36 and it's multiplied by 5 over 15. 28 and 36 are both divisible by 4. 28 can be 7 times 4 and 36 can be 9 times 4 and it's multiplied by 5 over 15 which are both divisible by 5 so 5 can be 1 times 5 and 15 can be 3 times 5 and then we can cancel out any common factors that are in the top and bottom numbers so we have a 4 that can be cancelled out and we have a 5 that can be cancelled out. We multiply what we have left over. So in the top we have 7 times 1 which is 7 and in the bottom we have 9 times 3 which is 27. So 7 over 27 is our final answer. So let's try 24 over 27 multiplied by 36 over 40. So we need to try to find some common factors in the numerators and denominators. So 24 and 40 are both divisible by 8. 24 can be 3 times 8 and 40 can be 5 times 8. And then 27 and 36 are both divisible by 9. So 27 can be 3 times 9 and 36 can be 4 times 9. And then we can cross out any common factors in the top and bottom numbers. So we have a 9 that we can cross out and we have an 8 that we can cross out and we also have a 3 that we can cross out. So what we're left with is 4 over 5. 4 over 5 is our final answer. Okay let's try one last example. Let's say you had 24 over 54 and it's multiplied by 9 over 18. One thing you can do is you can break down each of the numbers to its prime factorization. So let's give that a try on this one. We'll take the 24 and we'll break it down into 2 times 12. And then the 12 can be broken down into 2 times 6 and the 6 can be broken down into 2 times 3. So what you have left over is the prime factorization of 24 which is 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. And we'll do that with each of the numbers. So let's try that with the 54. So 54 can be broken down into 6 times 9. Then the 6 can be broken down into 2 times 3 and the 9 can be broken down into 3 times 3 and you're left with the prime factorization for 54 which is 2 times 3 times 3 times 3. We'll try that with the 9. It can be broken down into 3 times 3. These are the prime factors for 9. And then the 18 can be broken down into 3 times 6 and the 6 can be broken down into 2 times 3. So the prime factors of 18 are 3 times 2 times 3. And now we can rewrite the question using the prime factors. So the 24 is equal to 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. The 54 is equal to 2 times 3 times 3 times 3. 
and it's multiplied by 9, which is 3 times 3, over 18, which is 3 times 2 times 3. And now we can cancel out any common factors found in the numerators and denominators. So we have a 2 that can be canceled out. Then we have another 2 that can be canceled out. Then we have a 3 that can be canceled out. Then we have another 3 that can be canceled out. And then another 3 that can be canceled out. So what we have left over on the top, all we have is 2. And on the bottom, we have 3 times 3 is 9. So 2 over 9 is our final answer.